Larry Hoover. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Visor with Big Meech, presented by The Battles In. I'm here with Darius Washington, first team all-conference tackle, guard, and center last year. Wherever you put him, it don't matter. So, you know, appreciate you coming on here, my brother. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. No doubt, man. So, really, just we're going to start with just your journey up to the top so far, man. Um, coming, in to, coming into this season, one of the uh, biggest, you know, name tackles come, coming into this season. So, you know... First of all, you know, congrats on that. And, you know, just let's talk about your journey to the top, man, and how it really started beginning in uh, Pensacola. Uh, so, yeah, coming out of Pensacola, just uh, start from Little League. I, I was playing all types of positions, running back, linebacker, you, like you name it, kicker. Like, I, I was playing everything. So I, I started off as just, just playing a, a, a whole variety of positions and just growing into uh, my body as I got older into high school. But my juniors, when I made a switch over into play offensive line, like, cause I had coaches like my family, so like, you, you should try O line, you should try O line. I was like, ah, forget it. So I, I tried it out, and I actually just started liking it. And then once offers started coming in and stuff, and then it was like, okay, now nah, I can really, I can really play this position. And then transitioning to coming to Florida State, like it was just uh, when I took all my visits, like at other schools. When I came here, it was different, just from. When I came in, it wasn't just the coaches greeting you. It was like you had people that I was coming in with, like d and stuff like that, like players that was getting recruited with you, that was committed to the school, that was actually trying to get you to come here with them. That yeah. kind of pulled me here, too, because it was just like that brotherhood, like we can really change some around. And with the guys coming in recruiting class, uh, D-Lo, one of the guys that's uh, you know, training right now, um, just talk about you know how y'all was able to build that relationship and how close y'all you know generally were. Just wanted to see each other win and succeed. I want to say it all started off um, just once after everybody signed. It was, there were, we, we was in a big group chat on social media and and we uh, we were just developing that relationship there. And once we all got on, got on campus, it was they uh, they had us stand in the dorms when we first got here. That's yeah. that's the thing that people don't understand. We, when when first years get here, they stayed at champs. He's luxury, nice. Yeah, we stayed on dorms, but it was bed here, bed here. You got it. What? Get to know each other. Man, yeah. we had we we had to really get spend some time with each other, so that that really helped. Were there some years, you know, after your freshman year, uh, like maybe like twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two, you know, just learning some of the hard lessons um, that helps you, uh, you know, transition to having a great season last year. Um, you know, last season you didn't have any penalties, um, you know, no sacks given up. It took a lot to get to that point. So, you know, just talk about that. I'd say probably the hardest year of my college career would be COVID year. And that was just, just with all the coming back from injury and just uh, with everything not being in school for a long period of time, then just like COVID time was just awkward and yeah. weird for everybody. And I think that was just one of the hardest times of my career because it's just going through that season. Like, we, we, we literally went a whole month, like four straight weeks without playing a football game. And it was, it was, yeah. Yeah, COVID definitely was challenging, yeah. bro. I went, when I was at Charlotte, just, we used to practice all week. All week. Man, tell me, bro. We'd be about to go travel. Coach come in and ate the game canceled. Like, nah, for us it was yeah. the we travel, we suited up for the game pregame meal ready. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're not playing today. What? Like yeah, <laughs> what you was, mean we're yeah, not that's, playing? That's crazy. That's crazy. My whole mind is prepared for this game and then but that was that was just the the situation, the circumstance we was in because like COVID it was it could happen that quick or you can contact trade like anything it could happen. To change something <laughs> real quick, I was actually wanted to read this. Yeah, uh, I want to hear that. Bro. Like, uh, what happened man. when you had to? Uh, man, had was, to sit out. It was just. Well, I think it was like the day before the game. They was like, "Do you got COVID?" I was like, hey, "Yeah." Because <laughs> usually they test us like the day before, like that Thursday or yeah. something. I think and. Once they got the test back, I thought it came back positive. Then I had to go do another rapid test. And I, that one came back positive. I was like, fuck. And yeah. they, they was like, who's around and stuff like that. And I was like, hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I was trying to. That was tough, bro. Cause yeah. we, used to, we used to get tested. Uh, we was getting tested three times a week. Like a weekly. Uh, this it was, was like, it was. all right, bro. <laughs> like, it's getting like, rough. Like, just, just for the game to be canceled. I'm, I'm tired of sticking that thing up my nose. So you started at tackle uh, in, in high school, or yeah, okay. I left tackle in high school and just played really left tackle until yeah, pretty much now. So when did you start being able to uh, like just being versatile and, and being able to play? It was the not the COVID season, but the year after the COVID season. That's when we started uh, when Rob Scott and stuff came in. That's when we yeah. started moving like practices and stuff. He go to left, I go to right, or I go to right. He go to left. Mm -hmm. Then Atkins asked me to start snapping. He said, "Start working on your snaps, so uh, be prepared to <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to to uh, to go in on yeah. uh, fall camping and practice for it." So you know me, I'm I'm, I'm practicing snaps, but I, yeah. I I really didn't think that he was like Being serious. Real yeah, I didn't think he was like, serious. He, he ain't really gonna yeah. put me out there. All right. But All right. yeah, that fall camp came. I, I took some reps at center, and then. Well, I knew it was real when we played Wake Forest, and I think uh, Maurice was, uh, he he was down, then we had our center baby on, and then he had went down like a couple plays in the game, they, you know, he was like, Darius, you're at center. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, first time ever going into a game at center was against Wake Forest. That was actually my first time ever playing, too, was against Wake Forest. Mm -hmm. But first time we were playing center in a real game, real snaps was in... That, that it's, that's kind of nerve wracking because you yeah. you you have to start to play like you have to you're, you're, you have to be yeah, locked in. Like, it's, it's it's nobody a, nobody can do nothing man, if it's not uh, it's it's a way game. Snap the ball. <laughs> it, was, it was a way game too. I was like, all right, yeah, just don't mess up the snap. See, yeah, this is uh, you know we we got a good environment, but it ain't yeah, one of the loudest. Yeah, so you know, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you can it's breathe still, a little still bit, hard, but yeah. it's it's like don't mess up, don't mess up the snap. And then after I did those couple plays. Baby, I came back in. I went back to tackle. I was like, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't, I, I would say I was able to snap the ball, but I wasn't able mentally to play the position yet. Yeah. Being able to play all over the field, is there a position that you prefer or uh, the one that you like the best or you, it's just whatever for you? I know you're going to play with whatever, but what position <laughs> yeah. do you like to, like, uh, if you had to pick one? If I had to pick, I'll, I'll go with the most natural left tackle because that's why I started at playing offensive line. Yeah. So it, it's just the position's more natural for me, like just the techniques, just my pass set. So I'm like being able to maneuver and move out of that out of that stance and that position is just it, it's more comfortable. But yeah. one of the things I respect about you the most is that a lot of people love the game and all that, but you generally love actual practice, bro. I think you're the only person, bro, that I like actually enjoys being out there at practice. And we all enjoy being out there. You know, yeah. we, we love practice. Yeah. practice you know, yeah. We love football, bro. But, you know, sometimes our practice gets tedious, bro. But uh, you was always one of the main guys out there, you know, trying to get, keep guys going and motivating, and always specifically working on your craft. This past season, you would be practicing at, at left tackle, bro, Man. for the whole week. And then in the middle of the game, bro, it's just Darius. We need you a center. Darius, go to guard. Darius, go to tackle. You know what I'm saying? Tackle. The other tackle is just like, you know, just how, how how tough is that? It's never something my mom's like, oh, snap, I need to I need to go play center. Like, what what I got to do here is like, if you tell me, hey, I need to go play here, okay. Like, it's, it's just that, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm, cause I, one, I love playing ball. So it's like, if any opportunity I can get to get out there on that field, yeah. I'm going to take it. And one thing I do uh, love about like Coach Atkins and his coaching style is just like you know he he, he puts it on you like it's the ownership yeah. ownership uh, accountability like what can I do to get better like he's the just for example we'll be in the meeting room um, and we'll say it's like a Wednesday or Thursday and we have practice corrections but you know yeah, he, he, he never gonna yeah. he never gonna put the corrections on because he expects you to already have come in and watch like, it and, and you know something that's the Coach Atkins also helped play. A huge role into like just the development of like me mentally and just like just me being able to do the things like the versatility part and stuff because he like just the way he challenges you the strain that he puts on you like everything is it's like of course the coaches are there to help you but at the same time like how he teaches us it's your career like I'm yeah. I'm not finna 
I can't go out there and play the games for you. It's your career. You have to do the stuff that is necessary to get to where you say you want to go. But I'm going to be here to help guide you yeah. whenever you hit bumps in the road. Yeah. So that's that's one thing. Like Coach Atkins, like just him, just just the strain that he puts on us is, is really what 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 really helped gravitate to yeah. the success as well. What is it, like the the biggest thing that you're looking forward to, you know, being an old guy, being a mentor to these the, the new people coming in and then really showing the example for the transfers too? Or relationships that I build and build with just young guys, transfers, and just just the people that also have been here as well. To because now that a lot of people that I've been here with are gone, it's 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 the relationships have to change. Like not me change, but I have to develop new relationships, yeah. develop a new bonds to create uh, that strong team feeling mm-hmm. to keep uh, to keep us going. Yeah. Are there some young guys uh, that have stepped out so far to you in the O-line that you were excited about? Bottles, one that's been very out. Like, like, you know how like, he is. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you know yeah. how Otto is, bro. Yeah. Uh, Otto is. He wants it right now. Like, yeah, it, it, it's not even just wants it right now. He's hungry. Yeah. And that, that's what I love about him. Like, yeah. Otto is so hungry that he that – he, like he, sometimes you gotta put a leash on him. Like, bro, like he, he, he try to do, he try to do too much too fast. Like, yeah. well, I understand you trying to learn, but he, that's one person that early, early is the person I like. Uh, his development just uh, over the years, him and Julian, he's definitely matured a lot. Bro. Yeah, him and Julian, I feel like they like this development. Like, yeah. Just... What can we expect out of you this season, man? First, I want to take care of. The regular season, because you, you, you can never look past anything. So take care of what we got to take care of first. I want that championship, though, because it was like that last year feeling is, is always going to be. It's always going like, to stick. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like that's that's what drives me. So you just hunger and just more, yeah, hunger. You got to put it You got to put it in your, in your bio, bro, because – I remember last year you put the, the ACC championship poster, uh, the picture of the ACC championship. No, it's, it's, it's it called the football playoff championship. Yeah. It's, it's my Instagram. Okay, I was about to say. And my Twitter. Yeah, because last, yeah. last year you uh, but, it was only ACC. And we, but, we, we got it. Yeah. You know something? You know something? It's crazy because I think it was like my uncle or something said something to me about that. He said, you put the ACC championship. You got it. <laughs> you should have put the <laughs> national championship on that joint. But the thing about it, I, I changed it directly after the game. But, nah, bro. You got to let it manifest, dog. You got to let it Stop the manifestation. It's, it's, like, right. it's like chicken, it bro. You got to let, you gotta let it marinate, bro, before you put yeah, it out there. You needed six hours to marinate. That's all we did. <laughs> That ranking stuff don't mean nothing until it actually to the, gets to, 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 the to, to the end. Yeah. Well, like that, that ranking stuff don't mean nothing until it gets to the end. It's like, hey, like we did everything we needed we every to do game, to, to get to the end. It's, every single game. It's, it's, oh, yeah. Well, no, I definitely appreciate you coming on here, man. No, definitely give some great insight and great information, man. Uh, please stay tuned and keep uh, keep watching uh, more episodes of Behind the Visor with Big Beats presented by the Battles End.